uh, fine. Um, I don't live in Paris. I live in uh, Bretagne, so it's uh, close to the sea. So I have to stay at my house, but at the same time, I can have a walk and uh, go to see the ocean. And uh, I mean, I'm in more uh, lucky situation than many people in France, so so it's okay. And um, well, I have plenty of time to work on my next film, so. I do mostly drawings right now. I'm going through the découpage of the film. So I'm trying to get closer to the film uh, while doing drawings and um, it takes a lot of time. And um, well, so I'm quite fine during these uh, not easy days. I've always wanted to make a film about dance since I started to make films. Um, I did some experimental sh short films uh, when I was younger with dancers and um, I always liked to film dancer. Uh, but at the same time, to make a fiction was uh, not an easy step. Uh, I wrote some scripts from maybe 10 years ago. I have some scripts ideas and it was like a fantasy to make a film that talk about dance not in a um, cliche way. Uh, so it took time, I think, because I needed to find a, a personal approach to it, uh, something which can convey all my memories, the sensation I have about dance. And at the same time, I needed something more wide, uh, something who would talk to more people, maybe. And when I discovered Isadora Duncan solo, Mother, uh, it really struck me, I mean, uh, um, right when I discovered it, uh, I knew uh, I had the film. I knew I, I could see, I mean, I couldn't see everything, but I knew I had the film. It's, uh, it's not easy to explain, but uh, I was sure about it. So I started to work from that, and I think made me make a film which is both intimate, both personal, and at the same time, it has a connection with history, with the tragedy that Isadora Duncan has to, had to live with. And um, there is something like an heritage uh, and a connection to Isadora Duncan. And it gave me strength also to, to make the film. And um, eventually I, I could talk about what I really feel about dance. Well, I believe that my my work, my my task as a film director, is to find this perspective. When I when I choose to film someone, to film a person, um, I spend a lot of time to think about this person, to inside my head to see his face, to see his body, maybe sometime doing drawings. Uh, taking pictures, uh, dreaming about that person. So, I mean, this is precisely what excites me when I make a film, is to think about someone which is not me, uh, and to think about that person a lot. And I need to have desire for this person, I need to have some kind of love for this person. And um, the more I think about this person and the more I, I know and I find ways to film this person. So it's kind of like a, like a preparation, you know. It takes a lot of time and um, I really like to do this. So, um, yeah, I spend a lot of time with this person. I'm not saying characters because uh, it's a bit different. In my films, the boundaries between characters and real person is really thin. So I'm really thinking about that person and I have image images coming in, in inside my head. So this is not really difficult because it's what I like to do. Um, what is really difficult uh, is during the shooting when you have to go through, uh, for example, the energy of Agat in the chapter one for maybe two or three weeks, you have to go through this energy and then uh, the week after, you're working with Marika and Manon, and it's a totally different energy. And 
and then you have to go to Elsa, which is um, uh, the tempo is different, the, um, the body is different, everything is different. So this is really tiring, you know. But it's during the shooting, and um, it takes a lot of time to uh, change uh, the path and change the energy. And that was the most difficult thing for me. But the preparation and the point of view of every character, it's something I, I really like to do. And I try to do this in all my films, to discover new new people. And um, yeah, it's something that um, it's really rewarding for me. You know, it's uh, it gives me a lot of uh, energy, and it's like a discovery. I met Noé Bach, so he's a French young cinematographer, and I met him uh, quite a bit uh, before the, the, the shooting. Um, he liked my film and I liked his work, so we, we decided to work together. Um, he brought me new ideas uh, and new perspective on the image for this film. Uh, the main thing was um, I wanted to make the film in fixed shots because I really like fixed shots and uh, and I did a lot in my previous film and uh, he convinced me to let the camera move uh, as if I was watching these gestures and so the camera in this film is uh, kind of uh, uh, slow I believe and very with a very big attention to the movements and, and to the gestures and to the faces. So it's kind of a combination between, it's not fixed shot, but at the same time there is uh, the attention I'm, I'm looking for when I'm, when I'm watching someone and when I'm filming someone. Um, we didn't do uh, a big preparation b before the film. Uh, we didn't get enough time uh, and um, I think we wanted to discover things while making them. I think Noé is uh, mainly working on more big films than my film. Um, and he wanted to work with me also because he knew that my methods were more um, personal, more free. Um, I do a lot of improvisation. I change a lot the uh, script uh, every day. And um, maybe it was exciting for him, I don't know, but um, I think that that's why he wanted to work with me also. So we really discovered what we were doing and what we wanted to do while shooting. So the shooting becomes like an exploration of these people, of this story. And um, yeah, I hope he learned something as I learned something with with him. And we plan to make my next film together also. So. I hope we can improve. Um, I hate castings. Uh, I try, if I can, I try not to do castings. I don't think it's uh, the right process for me. Uh, I don't want to see thousands of people. Uh, I think everyone is interesting in a different way. Um, and I don't want to judge a uh, thousand people in front of me, so I really, I never do it and I will never do it, I think. So what I do, my method is to remember people's face uh, or um, uh, work with people uh, which I knew, which I know a bit or which uh, close friend of mine uh, know some people and ask them, do you know these people? and then, then I can do my very, very small casting. I also do uh, casting on the street or if I meet someone in the real life uh, randomly, um, I keep it in mind or, or I try to make, uh, make a contact with these people. Uh, so um, to, to give an example, um, for example, I, I met for this film, I met Agathe uh, in a party. She was leaving the party and I was arriving to the party and we just talked for uh, one minute or two and uh, and I loved the, the way she, she spoke and her intensity and, and I thought uh, I want to make a film with her. So it's as simple as that. After that, 
of course, we had a cup of coffee. We we, we talk about the film, and and then we decided to work together. So it was very really, really really quick, you know. Uh, Marika, uh, the teacher of the second, the choreographer of the second part of the film, uh, I have danced with her ten years ago, so I knew her from. 10 years ago and since I met her I always thought uh, one day I will make a film with her because I like her face, I like her voice and so I was waiting for 10 years to find a character for her so um, so I thought about her directly and I called her and she said but I'm not an actress, I can't do it, I don't act and I said uh, don't worry it will be fine and I think she's great so it was that way. Manon, uh, she's the teenager of the second part. I met her, uh, I saw her on stage because she was um, playing in a theatre play in Avignon, Festival d'Avignon. Uh, and I found her amazing and I, I love her energy on, on, this, on the stage. And so I asked her if she wants to try and dance. And of course, she, she really wanted to dance. So I met her parents. Uh, I met her a few times. And eventually, I organized a meeting with, uh, like, a, it was like a dance rehearsal between Marika and Manon. I filmed there. And um, yeah, something strong happened. And, and I decided to, to work with her. And Elsa, the last character of the film, uh, I made a short film called The Lady with the Dog. And I made this short film 10 years ago also. And I love working with Elsa. And yeah, I was waiting for a new project to bring Elsa into the project. And uh, it was really something precious to meet her again 10 years after and to make this film with her. And um, I'm planning as soon as this uh, virus uh, problems are will be over, I'm planning if I can to... Uh, make another film with Elsa. I hope it will happen. For the editing, I work with Dunia Sishov. She's a French uh, editor and actress also. And she's very talented. She has a very intuitive way of working. And since I have more an intellectual way of uh, thinking about editing, I think both our personalities can bring something interesting. Um, it was really a, a difficult process. It took a lot of time. Um, not really uh, the structure, the chronology, because we respected the structure of my script. Um, and I, I always do that way. I mean, I have a basic script um, with a very strong structure, but inside the scene, what is happening uh, inside uh, is... Uh, more free and sometimes we don't know what I don't know what will happen during a scene I keep this uh, open space for the shooting so while I'm shooting I can bring new ideas and and improve uh, the scenes uh, improvise also but I always respect uh, my structure because I, there is a meaning there is a sense in, in that structure and there is a, a strength also so in the editing, we respect the structure, but um, what changes is the emotion, the, f the feelings, the energy, the rhythm. And it took a lot of time to, to build this film. Um, and our idea was that um, there would be an emotion that would grow from the first image to the last image, and it would grow very slowly, like small waves. And um, uh, with patience, peacefully, and eventually the emotion will rise at the end of the film. So this was not an easy process to find the right balance between the three chapters. And I thank Dunia a lot to yeah keep this struggle alive and and uh, and make it happen. <laughs>